USC Upstate has something special in the gospel choir and over time uh, it has grown to include many people from many walks of life. Being a part of a, such a large group of uh, predominantly African American students uh, was an eye-opening experience for me. From a child I've always enjoyed music, especially gospel music, and um, just being a student here at uh, Upstate, I, I just fell right in with the music, the genre. It was very important that I kept those roots alive. Gospel music, love it, enjoy it, speaks. It, it motivates me. Uh, it lets me be closer to the Lord. It's always been a part of, uh, of who I am. I was reluctant at first about it. Like, ah, oh, gospel choir. Whenever, um, but my first day for practice, it was on a Wednesday, and um, you know, just the, I was like, oh, I know that person, and I had a class with that person, and I saw that person, and you know, it was more, became more of a family. I was just wanting to get involved, you know, in something on campus. I think a lot of times, kids go off to go off to college, and then. Um, you, you're already sad that you're not around your family and you, especially if you come to a place that you don't have any family. Well, I came here um, as a freshman and uh, I knew the director at the time, which was uh, Bruce Harris, and I connected with him and became a member. I'm a saxophonist and I was playing my saxophone in my apartment at Rifle Ridge Apartments back then, early 91 it was. Uh, and the musicians happened to be walking across the parking lot and they came banging on my door and asked who was playing saxophone. And I said it was me and they invited me to rehearsal and from that point on it was a, a match made in heaven. You kind of want to get involved so that it'll keep you busy and kind of keep your mind off of missing home. Just the camaraderie and the sisterhood and, and all the friendships, they, they were just everlasting friendships. And the people that, that I started uh, school with, I still see them on a regular basis. And you don't find um, a group of people that young, usually, who are really, really interested in pouring into other people. We used to look forward to uh, practicing on Wednesday night. And, you know, if you was going through something personally or academically, emotionally, to me, that was the time for me to, you know, let it all out. My favorite memory of being in the choir, and this was later years, we were rehearsing for an anniversary or rehearsing for a concert and bad weather came. February, I think we were all nervous about uh, what was gonna happen uh, with that, and it snowed that week. It was snow, it was ice, bad weather. We rehearsed anyway, being able to get over to HPAC -H for the um, rehearsals. And we were so afraid that we would, the concert would not go on. I think it was just one of those moments where people were like, is it gonna happen, do we need to cancel it? Dr. Carson said, the show must go on. And Sunday, it was like the sky just opened and the sun was shining and everybody came to the gospel choir uh, concert. And we came, performed, and it was a wonderful show and people came. It's always been well attended, well supported uh, by the immediate community as well as uh, those people who travel because they have sons and daughters that sing on the choir and it's always been a highlight. My favorite memory um, was um, learning, Com coming into the doors and you see all of these different people from all over. I used to love the bus rides, singing on the way there and reminiscing on the way back, singing on the way back, falling asleep, leaning on each other and all of that. If you span uh, that choir, um, you can't miss uh, several um, marriages that were made through the choir and uh, families that have just, you know, are born through our connections in this choir. My favorite memory uh, was meeting my wife in the gospel choir. Uh, we've been married going on 19 years now. Um, it was a year uh, in which we wore the African attire uh, in the choir uh, that year and uh, it was a great experience. So it's really a legacy. Um, it, it is in ways that I don't think that the university could ever um, estimate how far-reaching 
uh, this kind of legacy is. Uh, but the Gospel Choir has been there through the decades to sustain us. I know that we had an impact in people's lives and there were a lot of souls that, that came to the Lord, they were saved because of our music and our testimony and song. It's one of those things where it was rewarding in that all of my entire time at USCS I spent, I was dedicated to the choir, I traveled with the choir. It was something that you looked forward to every Wednesday. It was the thing to do. Getting to know new people and learning songs. You were cool if you was in gospel choir. Like everyone wanted to be in it. And it was just amazing and it, I think it really sparked something in me to be like, I, this is, I love this. It wasn't just we were singing, but the words just jumped off the page and it became a ministry for us. As a saxophonist, as a singer, um, at the time, I simply did it because I always had always done it. But as you travel with the choir, it, it wasn't about me and it, it opened my eyes about, it was more ministry for me. It wasn't about the party, it wasn't about the, you know, about the show, it was, about ministry. I had some real challenging um, things in my life to come up and then I just would reflect, uh, meditate on the gospel music, on the times we had. Uh, we like a family. Um, our families may have ups and downs, but at the end we were like a family and we still, still are. We really uh, forged a, a bond that's akin to family and in many ways it is like a family. It impacted me because of the sisterhood or the camaraderie that I had with everybody that, uh, that was involved in the gospel choir. I think many of our strengths came to bear in being able to hang out in, in choir, whether we were uh, learning new music or traveling to prepare. Uh, for a concert or if we just chose to go grab a bite after choir was over. These are relationships that have withstood the test of time. It kept me from being pressured to do the norm. The choir experience changed me. It, it tapped potential inside of me that I did not necessarily know was there. It allowed me not to be scared to show my spiritual side. I have changed with the growth and that's just maturing over the years and how choir and gospel music can just embed in you to turn a bad day into a good day. We've been there for each other in sad moments and we've certainly been there to celebrate the joys of family and accomplishments. It really sparked in me um, a love for God. I'm looking forward to seeing all the old heads, so to speak. Uh, seeing the individuals who were in the choir uh, when I was here, then those who, who sort of carry the baton to this day. I remember um, when Dr. Carson came on, took over the gospel choir. In particular, uh, Dr. Carson is still doing well and has carried this, this torch for a long time. And to see him still doing well and able to sort of look back on the fruits of his labor and see all the individuals coming from everywhere uh, to celebrate him. But Dr. Carson was just this this force who he, he still is, quite frankly. I mean, and certainly we celebrate our Christ, our Savior, our Lord, but certainly I believe God places individuals such as him in locations specifically to garner uh, hope um, and to bring individuals who are from different locations to see that you can still live a, a, a sincere uh, life of belief to uh, believing in the Lord Jesus Christ on a college campus because that was the only outlet that we had. You know, there were no churches on campus, you know, so the gospel choir served as that. He's, he was just different and he loved music and he gave us the autonomy to just do and be. I met Doc and I was like, wow, like this feels like home. This feels like something that I can enjoy. I don't think people realize the impact of music uh, in that regard, but God created music for a particular purpose and the gospel choir uh, lived up to that, I believe, in, until this day. It really helped me stay focused, know where I wanted to go, and to get there. Coming in after a, a tough day academically and ended up in a choir rehearsal just kind of took everything, all the stressors away. And we used to cry together, we used to laugh together and, you know, see each other struggle as far as life academically. It's just lifelong connections to everyone involved with the uh, choir. I've made some lifelong friends here. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's amazing to see uh, all of what has developed and come forth out of the choir. People got kids now and 
You know, it's just, it's, it's a big reunion. And it feels good that it's a reunion for Gospel Choir. You know, it's just not like a regular school reunion. We got something, a stronger foundation under it as far as being religious and, you know, we got that one thing in common, it's a Gospel Choir. The Gospel Choir is um, very strong still. Um, it is something that I hope and pray uh, that continues on at the university.